bass keeps running, running, and 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 in this context, there's no disrespect. So when I bust my rhyme, you break your necks. We got five minutes for us to disconnect from all intellect and let the rhythm affect. Inhibition, follow your intuition, free your inner soul and break away from tradition. Cause when we be out, girl is full of out. You wouldn't believe how we wow shit out. Burn it till it's burned out, turn it till it's turned out. Act up from northwest east side. Everybody, yeah. everybody, yeah. let's get into it. Yeah. Get stoned, get it started, get it started, get it started. Yeah. Get it started. Let's get A body of soul. Don't move too fast, people just take it slow. Don't get ahead, just jump into it. Y'all hear about it? The peas will do it. Get started, get stupid. Don't worry about it, people will walk you through it step by step like an infant new kid. Inch by inch with a new solution. Transmit hits with no delusion. The feelings are irresistible, and that's how we move in. Everybody, yeah. everybody, yeah. let's get into it. Yeah. Get stupid, I'm out. get started, get started, get started. Get started. Yeah. Get started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's keep running, running, and running, running. Come on, y'all. Hi, Jeannie. There you are. Hey, Denise. Hey, Rocky. How you doing? You're looking good. I'm good, honey. How you doing? I'm doing great. I miss not hearing from you during the paper. Good. Sunday. I almost texted you. It was kind of a kind of a surprising show. <laughs> Uh, a few things had me thrown off a little bit. Yep.
Hey everyone! I think we're about to get this party started. So tell us why you're happy. Denise, why are you happy? You look happy. Happy because it's Thursday and it's the last Thursday of the month. It's my favorite time of the month. That's always a good reason. Anyone else? Rocky, you're smiling. What are you happy about? Oh, you're on mute. Woke up this morning again. That's a good thing to be That's happy. always a good day for me. <laughs> that makes me happy. So I'm happy about that. David, what are you happy about? Um, I've got compliance and DAs done for the day, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy that we have game night tonight, and it's going to be so fun. It's actually a social night, but it's going to be an awesome time. That's why I'm happy. It's going to be fun. Who else? Who, we want to hear your good news nice. today. I'm happy. I'm, we're celebrating my son's seventh birthday. We're going to Disney on Saturday. So super excited about that. Oh, I'm so oh, happy. Happy. happy birthday. Can I go? <laughs> I mean, if you need a vacation after the vacation, yeah, you can take my spot. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but I know you love Disney. Who else is on today? Hey, Will. I think he's disconnecting. Looks like Alex on. Uh, Alex, why are you happy? Tell us uh, I'm happy for game night tonight and that I'm almost done with my first week of work. My first week. Yay. Oh. Hey, Cindy. Kara and Trish, I'm just looking to see who's on. I'm just waiting for everybody to get logged on. I don't see my faces. I'll go because I'm really happy that we had 10 people graduate at night last month and I just got all of their certificates. So I'm. Yay. I love that. That is amazing. All right, it looks like our list of participants is still growing. Do we want to wait a couple of seconds or go ahead? Let's wait just a, about uh, one more minute. Okay. Don't be shy, y'all. Tell us why you're happy. Well, I'm happy because I am going to be showing property this weekend. I just hope I can find them something. <laughs> hey, I saw y'all were out of town. Where were y'all? That was beautiful. Breckenridge, Colorado, and it was cold, cold, cold. <laughs> I, look, I looked at y'all's photos and I was like, oh my goodness, I want to go. I miss the snow so bad. The best part was snowmobiling. We had a blast. That's my dream. That is my dream. 
It was beautiful. Your pictures were beautiful, Trish. Thank you. We enjoyed it. It was a big family uh, get together and there was 11 of us. Flights were crazy. Um, we ended up being shorted up of our in a day and a half. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. Because y'all were going right when they had all that in Texas, didn't you? Yeah. And we're also excited about our new buyer agent, Kelly Holt. She's kicking butt. Yes, that's awesome. That's great. Have faith in the system. <laughs> I said, have faith in the system. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rebecca, what are you happy about? I'm putting on my lipstick. <laughs> See? Hey, Rebecca. I love that color. The only time you can wear lipstick is when you're on Zoom. That's right. Because you can't wear it when you go outside. Or it gets all over your mask. That happens to me every day. So I was having a I'm having a team meeting, so I'm looking good. Cool. Okay. All right. That's what I think is going on. Okay. Well, I think Stephanie, we can get started. What do you think? Are y'all ready? Yeah, I think we're all very happy. All right, let's move on. Okay, first off guys, uh, welcome. I'm so glad to see all of you um, on the call. I know it can be a challenge right now with Zoom, but we're really excited to have you on. And I just wanna say a big welcome to all of our new associates from January. Um, we had quite a bit. We had 19 that signed on and have joined our Keller Williams family. We're really excited. Um, and I just wanna say welcome and thank you so much for joining in on your first stakeholders meeting. So how many were able to participate in family reunion? How many on the call? Yay, yay, yay. I can't see everybody. Well, I don't know about y'all. It was a much different experience going digitally, but I got a lot out of it. I loved it. Um, it was just so much great information. And we just wanted to kind of like do a round table here and talk about our ahas and see what everybody wanted to share. Um, I know we have our ALC members on the line because they want to be able to give you their ahas. Shana, did you want to talk to the ALC? Yeah, I, I'm trying to see who all is on. I don't think we have Moane on. Uh, what about Mary? Mary Sowell, can you share your aha? Uh -huh? Oh. I had no microphone. Yeah, I heard you, Mary. Thank you. What about um, Stephanie? Stephanie Rorda or Bennett? I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Stephanie Rorda. Yeah. Um, so I had a few. I think. What I wrote down, I think my biggest aha was during the vision speech and um, Gary Keller was talking, you know, he was talking about Zillow and this is just basically a quote from him. He said, who you are in business with is a vote for the, the real estate industry. If you write a check to Zillow, then you're voting for a Zillow world. And um, I just thought that that was really powerful. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Good, job. Good one, Stephanie. And then what about um, Jeannie Duguay? Yeah, I got a, quite a bit from it. I really enjoyed it. I didn't really get to have the best day was Thursday for me that I was going to participate quite a bit. Um, I really enjoyed lots of things. The Morning Brew was really good. The Empire Builders talked about the podcast. I'm a podcast fanatic. Every time I'm in the car, I love listening to them. You can learn so much. And the other thing that I really liked was from the inspirational morning was talking about the 1%. If you can just be 1% better um, every day, you don't have to have massive goals. So it was very good for me. I really enjoyed it. Oh, oh great. I like that, Jeannie. And then um, Kara, Kara Boyd, what do you have from Family Reunion? Um, so mine was, uh, we took a breakout session on running lean. Uh, and what I was looking at was it was talking about how you can't or you shouldn't throw money at your problems to try and do like quick fix basically. So it was talking about really stepping back, analyzing your business, kind of see where you can make cuts 
and not just, you know, immediately hire a transaction coordinator or immediately pay for Mojo Dialer or whatever it is that might seem like a quick fix for something that you're trying to do right then. Um, so that stuck with me and we started looking at what we were doing and how we could run lean. Awesome. And then what about um, Cindy Cleghorn? Um, as Jeannie was saying, the 1% daily that you could do better and just strive every day to just make every day the next day better. That's awesome. Well, thank you all of our ALC members for contributing um, some insight on the family reunion. What about the leadership staff? Do you guys have anything that you want to share? I'll go. Uh, my favorite is always inspirational morning. That is I mean, I got, I love the Empire Builders. I listen to their podcast anyway. So it was really nice to, to see them. Um, but I loved the inspirational morning where it showed how the Gulf States region came together for all of the hurricanes that we had last year. And the interview with Preston Murphy was just awesome. I'll share. Um, the biggest thing that I think I took away was um, what is uh, what what is like you're leaving your clients with, and the biggest thing is how are you getting referrals, and it's the way you treat every single person, um, and so whether you're selling a home to somebody who's selling maybe it's not that big of a property in number, but you're going to treat them like a million dollar client because um, you never know who they know and who they are going to refer your name out to. So always treat every person like a millionaire. And I'll go. Um, one of my favorite takeaways was I loved watching um, Gary Keller speak. And I think one of the things that he said that really left a lasting impression on me was, and he said, if, if you're not leaving your day fulfilled and, and happy with what you're doing each day, then you're in the wrong business. And, and that's how you should feel every day. And I loved hearing that because it goes for realtors and our leadership team. Like I love feeling fulfilled at the end of the day and knowing I, I did something great today and I'm happy with it. And I think that's how everybody should feel if they're in the right um, career. I want to add oh. to that. That was actually one of my, I'm sorry, Dave. No, go ahead. <laughs> um, that was one of, one of my big takeaways also is, you know, sometimes we like to copy, we see other people's businesses and maybe how big they are, or how, whatever they are. Um, and, you know, if you're not being true to yourself and your job becomes, it's not fun anymore. It's because you're copying someone else's goal and not staying true to yourself. And I thought that that was awesome. Just kind of puts it into perspective. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's like that bold law, you know, don't judge your insides by somebody else's outsides. Right. Right. That's right. I love that law. Cause we can tend to do that to ourselves. <laughs> Yeah, the beat up game. Well, I love the fact that Gary has the um, belly and uh, the, the, the burn in his belly to go another 20 years fighting for us mm -hmm. because that's the guy that I want on my side um, figuring out how to keep us in the middle of the, the center of the transaction or the beginning of the lead, not the, not the receiver of the lead. Mm -hmm. I agree with Rebecca. Um, you know, one of the things that stuck out for me is being 1% better, but I also tie that into kind of what's going on with our industry because there's a lot of talk about Zillow and what's going on with Zillow. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be a Zillow or there's going to be some kind of competitor out there. And what we're, you know, Gary Keller and his vision and what we're doing here at Keller Williams is making sure that we are encompassing the entire transaction within our company from the start of the lead to the end of the lead. And I love how we are going to be able to, as we grow and as the technology grows, be able to keep everything from start to finish for our clients. And that way, you know, we're with a brokerage who owns 
the technology. We're not sharing it with anyone. We're not giving it away to anyone. And it's it's all in house to where a lot of other brokerages, they're paying outside sources and things like that to be able to get the information. So that's that's what I'm excited about is that um, you know, being with a company who's there to fight for us, fight for us in this industry as competitive it is and keeping everything, you know, looking forward for the best of us. And then just being one percent better because that's just it. Doesn't matter what the competition is. If you're out there working your database, staying in touch with your database, staying in front of them, giving them great service, like Stephanie was talking about, then you're still going to, you know, own your database. That is, that's, that's your money. Own it, work it, and just, just dig in onto it and do 1% better with it every single day. Does anybody else have anything to share? Hey, Amy. Yeah. I didn't realize um, Will and Tyler are on too. So Will from the ASC, did you want to share your aha? I didn't realize that you were on. Aha. Uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. So when you go last, I guess, or just before you go last, everybody takes your stuff. <laughs> I love the inspirational moments. I love the 1%, but uh, the 1% better. It reminded me of the, um, the book, The One Thing. What is it that I can do? What What is one thing I can change to make my career more? You know, you guys know the, the language. I'm, I'm in my car. I don't have my notes with What's me. What's the one I'm, thing I can do that will make everything either easier or unnecessary? Absolutely. And if yes. I could do that 1% better, then it makes my day even go even better. So, yeah. And I do. And I also love hearing when we have this, the uh, commander in chief, the CEO, the top guy speaks. Um, you know, we, we, yes, we get a good information from Amy and, and the Rivers team, but I love to hear when the top guy comes forward and speaks, so, about yeah. the company. Yeah. So, Will. Thank and what you. about Tyler? Did you want to share your aha, too, Tyler Everett? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just got on. I had an appointment. So, I actually had um, two of them, and um, one of them... Uh, one of my ahas, you know, KW was actually second um, in rural land and farm sales in the country, which means that we've got a little bit of room for growth and development. And KW land is something that my group is looking hard into. Um, but my biggest aha, you know, is was not necessarily something from a business standpoint. But um, when Gary and them, you know, they had the panel and they talked about um, not not being racist but have supporting anti-racism, being vocal about it. I know that was a very hard conversation. Um, I know it's an uncomfortable conversation for a lot of people to have, but that that did that that pulled at me very uh, very hard. And you know, I think um, I can I'll be happy to say I'm as guilty as anybody in being and not being racist, but but not being vocal about being anti-racism. You know, like I should be. And because uh, I, I think that's a big deal, and that's, that's one of the only ways we can really, really move forward and, and give true inclusion. So, um, you know, out of all the things out of family reunion, that that touched me more than anything. That's that's wonderful. I read the book, and the reason I read the book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, was because Gary read the book. Um, and just like you said, Tyler, it opened up my eyes. Yeah, that, that was that was a phenomenal panel and a phenomenal conversation to watch. And, um, you know, it, it, and it goes to show that we can have those conversations. Sometimes they just need to be started. And um, but I, I, I thought that was just awesome. And, and guys, remember, you can watch everything for the next like 54 days. Is that we got them from 54 more days. Don't wait till you're down to day, you know, three. Hey. Yeah, that's that's the best part. I've been back cruising through things I missed. Mm -hmm. Denise. Yes. If you weren't registered for family reunion, can you still register to be able to access everything? I'm not sure, but I'll check that out and okay. we'll get that out there. We'll find that out and send out an email in case you're able to still do that. Because I'm just, if you weren't able to go or you weren't able to see everything, it's great that we have access to it. I love it.
All right, so moving on, guys. So I just, a big announcement. I don't know if you guys heard, but we have new leadership at the top here at Keller Williams. Um, Josh team has moved on to a different direction in his career. And I'm so excited about that. Um, we now have Mark King as the president of Keller Williams. I don't know if you guys are familiar, real familiar with Mark, but his story is so inspirational to me. He, he went from a real estate agent to a coach to a team leader, to an operating principal, to a director of a regional operating principal, director of growth, and now he's president. I mean, I tell you what, you talk about working your way up, hard work, <laughs> dedication, and being with one company. It, his, his story is inspiring to me that never give up your dream, never give up and how hard you're working because it does, it does pay off. So I'm really excited about him taking the helm on that. Jason Abrams has been promoted from VP of industry to head of industry. Matt Green, who is also a co-director um, of growth, is now the director of head of agent and partner experience. And they have now we have Chris Cox. They're bringing him on, and he is going to be head of our technology. I'm super excited about the technology. Um, Rebecca, do you... Have anything you want to say about Chris Cox? Because I'm not real familiar with him. I didn't know if you knew anything a little bit more or anything you want to chime in on. Um, yeah, what I know is Chris Cox um, came with, I think, the guy Carl. And Chris Cox is the gentleman that um, has run the um, USAA platform. Okay. So is that correct, Gene, maybe? Okay. Oh, he came from Bain, Bain Investment. Yes, okay. Yeah, but okay, so uh, don't ignore me. He's very technological. <laughs> and and the, what I got from what they were talking about, um, a couple of conversations that I heard, and, and Rebecca, you can tell me if this is correct, um, is that basically we're kind of like stopping a lot of the growth in command. We're going to fix what needs to be fixed before we add any more pl you know, platforms or anything. Right. Is that correct? We're, gonna, we're not going to beta test for the rest of the year, and they're just going to, you're not going to get any new, new stuff. Okay. So all you're going to get is what you've got, and then fixes for if it's not working properly the way you like it to work. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm really excited I mean, about that. If, if, if we never did anything else, what we have in there is 10 times more than what I had when I was running my business. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, we have, we, I love what we have in there. And I, I like that. I'm going to slow down just a minute because I know sometimes there's some frustrations, but what we have is a great product and it is such a great opportunity for you agents to really get plugged into it and use it to its fullest extent. And so be on the lookout because we're adding new technology classes here at the market center. We have the boot camp. Shane is going to talk all of about that in a little bit. So I don't want to steal her thunder on any of the classes, but I just want to say I'm excited about our new leadership. I'm excited about the direction that we're going. And I think that there are great, wonderful things to store for all of us here at Keller Williams. Hey, okay. all right, Stephanie. All right, up next we have birthdays. We want to wish all of you in February a happy, happy, happy birthday. We have a ton of people who had birthdays this month, and we just want to wish you a happy one. Happy all right. birthday. Happy birthday, y'all. All right, anniversaries. This one's a huge. Can we just acknowledge how many people we have on this list? This is amazing. We want to wish you a happy work anniversary. We appreciate everything you do for this company, and we are proud to be in business with each and every one of you guys. All right, so we had two people graduate our Ignite program last month, um, and we have Nathan and Montoya are also finishing up theirs, but we had Irina Isinko who graduated last month, and I just wanted to say that Irina is super sweet. She's actually friends with Dina here that is at the title company. Um, her and her boyfriend live in Palm Cove, and I think that Irina is really interested in um, getting properties for her and her boyfriend to rent out and, and grow their income through investing. So Irina, can you say hi to everybody and introduce yourself? I thought she was on. Oh, she's on. 
not sure if she's on anymore. I know she was on just a minute ago. She might've lost connection. Here, can we go to the next one then, Stephanie? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, and then we had Allie too, who um, she is super excited as well. She's very eager and willing to learn. She's actually, her sister is going through real estate school now and will be joining us hopefully soon and they're gonna be working together. Allie actually lives in the Freeport area, but her and her sister are interested in selling in that area and Panama City Beach as well. So Allie, can you unmute yourself and say hi? Hi everyone. <laughs> hi Allie. Hi. Congratulations on, on Ignite, Allie. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Ignite classes. I'm actually going to be doing the open house class later today, too. So just trying to get them all squared away. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, Allie. We appreciate that you chose Keller Williams. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> So we had two cappers in January, Dennis Nelson, who is just a wonderful person to, to talk to and a great guy, love him to death. I love it when he comes in the office. And then we also had Stephanie Rorda, woo -woo. Also a wonderful person. And I love it when she comes in the office too. I know. And I think actually, I think Dennis actually capped a month earlier this year. Mm -hmm. He did. In the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> mm -hmm. So don't let that stop you. And this is um, congratulations, Nathan Giles, on your first listing. I know I saw him on earlier, so thank you, Nathan, and congratulations. And then first closings, Amanda Wright. Congratulations, Amanda. Great job. Don Decker, great job, Don. Hunter Simmons, good job, thank you. Megan Waldstein, great job, Megan. Home Run Award. So these are our agents that had um, first one closing, one listing, and one contract last month. So congratulations, Ashley Meadows, Kathy, Kathy Bruce, Mary Sowell, Dennis Nelson, Chris Lance, um, Brandy Stewart, and Randy Poe. Great job with your home run. And then home runs continued. Wow. Um, Naviz Martinez, Stephanie Aldia, Stephanie Rorda, Vicky Faust, Michael Warner, Man Mindy Sato, and Will Pinder. Wow, that's a lot of home runs. And here's our Grand Slam Team Award. So three closings, three listings, and three contracts. The Elite Group, the Daniels Team, the Payne Group, the Cater Group, the Performance Group, the Beach Team, the Lawrence Group, and the Connection Team. Wow, that is awesome. Good job, guys. Yes. Hey, so we're gonna move on to um, most listings for January. Um, single agent was Dennis Nelson. Woo! And then for um, most listings in January for a team, went to the Milestone Group. Yay, Kara Adam. And then woo most, woo -hoo. and then most listings for January Group was the Lawrence Group. Yay. Debbie, can I interrupt you for one minute? Hmm? Can I interrupt you for just one minute? Yeah. Sorry, I got a fan on. Um, those that we, that day we just started with and the ones that we're going to continue on on the awards are our new awards that we will be handing out every month. So I'm really excited that we're adding all of these award categories and I look forward to um, seeing your name up there. All right, David, I'll let you continue. Sorry. Okay. So next is the um, most closed units for January single agent. It was a three way tie. Um, we had Will Pender, Tanya Blyce, and Mary Sowell. They all had five closed units. Woo! Congrats, guys. Wow. And then most closed units for January team was the Cater Group. Yay. Yeah. Yay. And then most closed units for January group was the Lawrence Group. Woo! Awesome. Congrats, everyone. Okay. So highest listing volume for a single agent was Mindy Sato for January. And highest closed volume for a single agent was Wayne West. Ooh. 
Highest listing volume for a team was the Milestone Group. Go, Kara and Adam. Y'all are rocking it. Highest yeah. post volume for a team was the Simmons team. Woo! Feel free to push your, um, your space bar and go, woo! Yes, absolutely. Woo. Highest listing volume for a group was the Lawrence Group. Woo. And highest closed yeah. units group was also the Lawrence Group. <laughs> okay, guys. So our last award category that we have added to all of our awards is every month we will have the Million Dollar Club. And this is going to be for agents who for the prior month, they closed, listed, or had a million dollars in production for that month. And I'm just telling you for the month of uh, January, we had quite a few. So congratulations to you all. We had Tanya Blaze, Christina Daniels, Brian Chapman, Stephanie Shipp, Jordan Jarrett, John Ray, Ashley Meadows, Amy Mullahan, Carrie Rout, Cindy Shoemaker, Mary Sal, Wayne West, Mike Elvis, Chris Ballinger, Dennis Nelson, and Michael Morris. Wow. Oh, a few more. Mark Parrish, <laughs> Mindy Sayo, Scott Seidler, and Jeannie Dugay. Yay. So I'm just going to tell you guys, that is absolutely incredible that we have that many agents who have that much in production for that month of January. You guys are on fire. You are rocking it. And we are so proud to be in business with you. Yes. So next, we're going to have the associates moving forward. We're going to, um, this is, these are all the agents that were in the top 100 of our local board, the Central Panhandle Association of Realtors, and they're in no particular order, um, but they're Nathan Lawrence, Christina Daniels, Amy Mollahan, Ashley Meadows, Dennis Nelson, Mindy Sato, Vicki Faust, um, Mark Hearn, Kathy Bruce, Don Deckard, and Chris Lance. Again, they're no in particular order, and this was for the month of February, so month of January. So congratulations, everyone. Okay, guys, this is always my one of my favorite things to share. The Rivers Group profit share for the month of January for all four market centers was $32,165. So, uh, that is awesome. This is January. This is first quarter, guys. <laughs> Okay, and our top profit share earner for the month of January for our market center was Sonia Seidler. Hey, and the really cool part about that is Sonia's the top profit share earner, uh -huh. and she's not even selling real estate. Nope. <laughs> That's where you guys want to be. <laughs> exactly. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, and for our local market center news you can use from me, we had 154 closed units in the month of January. That is an all-time record for January for our market center. We had GCI of $915,649. That's commission that was paid out to our agents. That is awesome. That is a, not a number you see in January. Again, an all-time record. We had profit share of 19,137, an all-time record for January, and company dollar of 113,857, another all-time record for January. We are breaking records at Keller Williams Success Realty. Wow. And as follows, our year-to-date profit share in GCI are going to be what I just said because we've only been through one month. So Okay, um, KWRI, looking good. We have, this is what we call our pink and green. And we have a lot of green. We have closed volume is up 33%. Listing sold volume is up 35%. Contracts written volume up 25%. This is awesome. This is trending up. This is where we wanna be. And for the region, similarly, we have Lots of good numbers. Closed volume is up 26.6. Listing sold up 13.4. And contracts written volume 20.5. And
closed GCI in our region is up 26%. That's pretty cool. And for our market center, our closed GCI is up 20%. That is awesome. That is a pay raise for our agents. I am all excited about our agents getting a pay raise. I think everybody should get a pay raise of 20% in the in a <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> in I January. Heard, yeah. Where does that happen? That happens at Keller Williams Success Realty is where that happens. Our closed volume was up 33.5%. Our listing sold volume was up 25.5%. Contracts written up 23.2%. You guys are rocking it. Nobody told you this was first quarter. All right, time for news you can use. Um, I just had a few things to go over in regards to um, advertising and compliance. Um, the, uh, as far as technology, there were a couple updates that came out this past week. Um, a couple key things it, that I saw um, were now in the contacts and command, you can um, do bulk activities like select multiple contacts and attach them to um, different activities like meetings, calls, texts, all of that. Um, that is current in command and coming soon. I know there's been a lot of conversation about DocuSign and command. Coming soon, DocuSign uh, in DocuSign templates, um, you're going to be able to create templates that will um, be the same for every transaction. So you can put info in a document and it'll stay the same for every transaction to transaction that you do in DocuSign. So those are a couple um, updates that I saw in regards to technology. Um, for fallout, um, the previous month, we had 29 contracts fallout, which was a lot better than in December. Um, but a couple key things um, were inspections that I saw was the big one and appraisals. And for appraisals, um, a good thing, a good thing that's coming up soon is the listing clinic with um, Gene Rivers on March 3rd from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. That will be good to help you um, with, you know, when you're doing CMAs and getting pricing for listings, making sure that things are the right price so that they are also meeting that appraisal price in, you know, further down the line. So definitely be involved with the listing clinic that's coming up on March 3rd. Um, there's a couple of things in regards to advertising. I know I've said it several times previously, um, when we've been in front of you guys about making sure that whenever you're posting in social media, um, creating ads, anything like that, please make sure that you're including your contact information, your name, your contact information, and the brokerage name, Keller Williams Success Realty. Um, and <clears throat> I've got a little clarification from the local board on that by not including that information on any form of advertising, whether you're posting about an open house or posting about a listing or just say, saying, hey, let me help you with real estate. You're soliciting for real estate in that post. So you have to include that information. Otherwise, it could be a, um, a code of ethics violation and it could also be a violation of Florida licensing law. So please, make sure to cover yourself and be safe. You're not gonna have to worry about Freck or anybody like that coming and um, saying anything about your post. It's gonna be a complaint from someone else. And you know, you never know. So just by including that information, you can protect yourself and save yourself from, I think the first violation is $250 and it goes up to 5,000. So please save yourself some money. Um, I think that's all I have. All right. Here is DOCD news you can use. So we have our market center orientation is coming up next <clears> month. <throat> Just want to clarify that that is for anybody that's joined within the past few months and hasn't gotten to come and or if you want to come again and we can just see each other, it's going to be in person. Um, it's going to be in um, March. Let's see what I have it. 
March 11th at 9 a.m. So please come and join us then. Our listing clinic with Jean Rivers is coming up next week, March 3rd, 8 a.m. till 3 p.m. like David just said. So make sure you don't miss out on that. It's gifted to you from the Market Center. So if you need me to resend it to you, please let me know. We have a great listing contest coming up in the month of March. And there's going to be three awesome prizes that you can win. And there's a bunch of ways that you can win raffle tickets to get into these prizes. So we'll be sending you out emails and Facebook um, social media stuff that you understand what the listing contest is, but it's going to be a lot of fun. What's new in training is that we have a lot of classes on our March calendar and a lot of stuff that you probably haven't seen before. So thank you, Tyler Everett and Stephanie Rorda. We have some new masterminds on the calendar that they're going to be hosting for us. We've got Condo 101 taught by Randy Poe coming up in March as well. We've got a Flex 101 class. We've got a Mortgage 101 class. And these calendars are getting sent out to you right now. And they're also all on the hub already for the whole month of March. So please check out what's new because it's going to be some great training classes for you. Upcoming Ignite and Tech classes, that is going to be in March. We've got the first week Tech classes taught by Matt Caperton, all online. And they're from five to seven. And it's a great way to, even if you've already done tech training, to refresh yourself. There's a lot of great information. Ignite in March is um, morning classes, nine to 12. And it's already on the hub and in this calendar as well. If you want to retake Ignite, that is there for you too. So if you're interested in retaking it, please shoot me an email because I'll get you into the classes. Of upcoming Paint the Town Red is the third weekend of March. It's the 20th and the 21st. And I just want to say thank you all so much. There were so many participants last month. It was a lot of fun getting to play that raffle. And congratulations, Henry. He won the $100 Amazon gift card. So please make sure you are um, participating in this so you have a chance to win a great gift coming up in March as well. Another thing that's new is Power Hour coming up in March, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, that is going to be, I have it on our schedule for March 16th, 9.30 a.m. It's going to be virtual. It's a chance for you to log on. Me and Amy will be on with you. We're going to get you pumped and ready to contact your database. If you time block this time, get your database ready. You can actually win cash prizes. It's going to be really fun, and I'm not playing. You're going to get a chance to win some cash by getting on to Power Hour with us, and you're also going to get to contact your database and schedule some appointments, so please log on to that with us. Stakeholders next month is actually going to be in person at Frank Brown Park. We're very excited about that. We're going to have lunch for you guys, and we're really excited to see everyone in person. That is going to be March at 11 30 a.m so please get that on your schedule because we can't wait to see you guys i think it's being cut off but there is also a sales report i'm sorry i think my little tab bar at the bottom of the screen is cutting it off so there is a sales report so oh, thank you stephanie this is what this is the scripts right stephanie okay um, these are some good scripts for you guys to use in January because we had a lot of great things go on. So contracts written um, volume, Keller Williams office was actually up 6%. CPAR was down 3%. And then listings taken volume, Ke um, Keller Williams success office was up 26%. CPAR was up 9%. So still a big spread. Here are some great scripts that you can use as people are asking you, how is the market going? Um, it's great. In January 2021, the amount of contracts written volume in my office increased 6% from the month prior. The local market experienced a 3% decrease in contracts written volume. Taken volume script. How's the market? It's great. In January 2021, the amount of listings taken volume in my office increased 26% from the prior month. The local market experienced only a 9% increase in listings taken volume. So this just shows that your clients, what, what Keller Williams is doing and why that's a great um, choice for them to choose you and their real estate needs. Yay. <laughs> Yay, woo! Thank you. Um, so now it's VAS news you can use. If you're on a desktop right now, you may want to get out your phone because um, we're going to have some QR codes you can scan uh, just for some future events. The first thing is next week on Wednesday is the listing clinic. You do not want to miss this. This is for 
any agent, any level, this is going to t uh, tell you everything you need to hit your goal listings every single month. So please um, hop on. And what's even better is that for our market center, it's free for our agents, meaning that agents everywhere else have to pay except Rivers Group agents. So use code PCAGENT and you can register for free. Next is the 2021 award ceremony. I'm sure many of you have seen this in your emails, on the newsletter. Uh, we are having a virtual award ceremony, uh, but it's going to be awesome, I promise you, because we have a bond theme. And every single agent who RSVPs will receive a lockbox full of goodies, but you only get to open the lockbox and have the code for it if you attend this event. So go ahead, get out your phone, scan this code, and it'll take you to the Eventbrite for you to RSVP. And your handler, which is me, Barry Bond, uh, will reach out to you for when you can pick up your lockbox. Next is tonight is Incoherent. Incoherent is one of my favorite games, but many people don't know what it is. So I have invited Alex to play one round of Incoherent with me on the stakeholders meeting so you can see what it's gonna be like tonight. It's gonna be a boatload of fun. So Alex, are you ready? Hey Stephanie. I'm ready. Turn up your volume. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's just okay. a little low. Y'all want me to get a little extra? I got a microphone, y'all. <laughs> Can you go back to the QR code real quick? And leadership, we don't have to worry about RSVP, just so you know. <laughs> All right. Can you hear me better, David? No? <laughs> it's fine. All right, are we ready to move on? Yes. Okay, Alex, are you ready to get your card for Incoherent? I'm ready. All right, try to sound this out and figure out what it says. Okay. Fa di love of real estate. So for the love of real estate. Yes, good job. And it's also on the bottom right of the card. So that was a fabulous job. Just a nice teaser. We're gonna have um, real estate theme cards, pop culture theme cards, just a boatload of fun and you're going to laugh your socks off, I promise you. Um, and if you're unable to make it tonight, don't worry, there's gonna be another game night. Um, it's gonna be on March 11th and it's gonna be a boatload of fun as well. Um, and it's gonna be charades. So we can't wait to see you there. Okay, guys, um, I want to introduce someone to you. We do have a new transaction coordinator at the Market Center. His name is Alex Backer, and I'm super excited that he has joined the leadership staff here. You guys are going to absolutely love him. He's awesome, and please give him a call. Start sending your transactions to him. He is ready for your, for your contracts. Alex, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I just moved to Panama City. I'm originally from Memphis, uh, and I went to college up in Massachusetts. I just graduated with uh, as a pre-medical student with a bachelor's of arts in psychology and a minor in biology. I know those aren't really related to real estate, but I was on the uh, medical school track but I'm taking a couple gap years to actually explore my interests. I've always been interested in real estate. And I think this is a perfect opportunity to get my toes wet, to get to know you all, to build a network and uh, hopefully start some good business with you guys. So I hope to work with you soon. Yay. Welcome Alex. Thank you. Y'all contact Alex, send him an email or give him a call because I think he's given some discounts on your first transaction. <laughs> Sorry guys, 
All right, so these are our AOC committees that we have. So we have our finance committee, um, Wednesday, March 10th, they are meeting at noon, repeats monthly on the second Wednesday. So you are welcome to come to these committee meetings. It's not just the people that are leading the committees, you are welcome to join as well. And this is the Zoom link for them. We've got a growth and wealth committee, March 25th meeting at 10 a.m. They meet monthly on the last Thursday. They are meeting in person in the training room. We've got a culture committee. They are meeting Thursday, March 11th at 9.30. Monthly meetings the second Thursday, and this is the Zoom link for them. We've got an education and technology committee. They meet Tuesday, March 9th at 1.30, and they repeat this monthly the second Tuesday, and they meet in person in the training room. We have a wellness and safety committee. Tuesday, March 9th is when they're meeting again, 10.30 a.m. This, they repeat this monthly, the second Tuesday, and they have their own Zoom meeting ID right here. And the passcode is wellness. Um, you, like I said, you're able to join these meetings. I'm sure they'd love to see you come in and join them. Um, and all of this is also in the hub, so you don't have to write all this down. I've got it all scheduled in there for you to reference, and that way you can take part in these. Okay, thank you, Shana. So guys, I wanted to talk about one little thing real quick, uh, KW Cares. We're gonna watch a little uh, video for, about KW Cares. I know that most of us know what KW Cares is, but we do have a lot of people that joined last month. And I just wanted to have a little discussion about what a great organization this is. So Stephanie, we can go on and, and just watch this quick little video. company's always been guided by our culture. We take care of our people and we take care of the communities we serve. And thanks to the passion and generosity of our associates, we are always pursuing bigger, more effective ways to deliver care. That's why we started KW Cares. When people were ill or when there was a personal tragedy, we would come in with meals and supplies in order to meet their needs. But over the years, as our KW family grew, those efforts grew as well. Next, we focused on meeting the needs of our market centers when they face challenges from fires, floods, tornadoes, and hurricanes. Today, we no longer are just packing up our cars in U-Haul. We have our very own KW Cares trucks and trailers, and we're stocking warehouses with much needed goods and supplies that are ready to go at a moment's notice. KW Cares separates us from other companies. More importantly, it's the core of who we are. We believe in giving back to our associates and their families. And now we have the means and the infrastructure to do just that. We are so grateful to all of you supporters who have made this dream possible. You've given us the opportunity to help even more people in their time of need. Thank you all. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to say real quick that I love this company and I love the fact that they have within the KW Cares that gives back to us. Um, I think we've all been touched by KW, a lot of us have been touched by KW Cares in different ways. Um, I can just say that recently my daughter was stuck in Houston with no power, no water, and she had, um, they, they luckily found a hotel, but you know, she's, they, they're a young family, they're financially strapped. And she made one phone call to KW Cares and within three hours, they had reimbursed her for all of the groceries that they lost and for their hotel expenses. And it was just amazing to see it personally, how it affected me and my family. And I just, it's really just on my heart that we all just kind of see that, you know, that it might be the day that you need that assistant or somebody in your family. Um, and they really are there to help. I think, De Denise, you have a, a story to tell as well. Yes, with um, all of the hurricanes last year, my sister actually was in the path of Hurricane Laura. And working through the regional um, Gulf States region, KW Cares was able to relocate my sister from her house with four holes in the ceiling and get her to where I could pick her up so that she could be here. They, they reimbursed her travel. Um, they took care of her. They put her in a hotel. It's just awesome. You don't realize 
you don't realize you need the help until you need the help. And it's so great that they're there when you need the help to offer it. No strings attached. Um, but can you go back to that one, Stephanie? So David, can you tell us if you're interested in donating to KW Cares, how the ways that we can do that? Yeah, um, you can go to www.donatekwc.org backslash um, and you can make a standard donation to KW Cares. You can also make a donation in memory of or in honor of someone else um, if you've lost an individual um, or, you know, in honor of someone if they're still living. Um, but you can also make a donation through the commissions tab whenever you're filling out your commissions tab for opportunities in command. Um, and when you submit your commission request, it even pops up a box again asking if you want to donate to KW Cares. And you can literally donate as little or as much as you want from, you know, and it just makes it easy when it just comes out of your commission check. So the power of words, it is sometimes hard to understand that an encouraging word can go such a long way. Anyone can speak words that can rob another of their spirit to continue in difficult times. Special is the individual who will take the time to encourage others. Do, you, do any of you want to recognize another associate today? And I think I stole that from someone else, but it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. David, Denise, we're all the same. Pretty much. <laughs> so who would like to recognize another, a fellow agent for something? Who has something for us today? Nobody? got to be someone. Well, let's see. I'll start. Um, let me recognize Rocky. Hey, Rocky. I got to tell you what, Rocky has always got the best attitude. He's always there to help everyone. And I'm just really appreciative. I know that he recently met with a couple of new agents that recently just signed on yesterday. And I just got to say thank you, Rocky, for always taking the time to be there for um, any of our agents. Rebecca, we can't. Can we? Can y'all hear her? You can hear me. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear Rebecca? I can barely hear her. You can barely no. hear Rebecca. I'd like to thank Mindy Sato for always taking my calls when I have stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there are no stupid questions. There are no stupid questions, Brooke. <laughs> You're welcome, though. <laughs> thank you. Can I thank Kara and Christy and Kelly for always answering my stupid questions also? <laughs> and I would like to thank David because I'm always popping in his office going, hey, what's this? What's that? And he's very helpful. Thank you, David. Oh, I'm here anytime for anybody. <laughs> thank you. I'd like to thank Cindy Cleghorn for always willing to do um, open houses for me. And Will. Will's great about doing open houses as well. <laughs> I'd like to thank Shana and David, of course. You both have been very helpful to me for my first few months getting into real estate. And um, yeah, thank you for helping me and answering all of my questions. Thank you, Aline. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to thank Mindy Sato as well for taking all my crazy calls at all time of the day and night. I just think I just saw Brooke type in what's happening with the town office. Can yes, Brooke know? asked that, Rebecca. Can, uh -huh. can you give us an update? Yes, right now I can give you an update. 
oh my gosh. Um, after we got a, after we got a, um, an approved blueprint and we started to build it, they decided that we were building too much and that we needed to stop and we needed to put in a hundred thousand dollar elevator. So um, it's taken a long time to get, and then they wanted us to only have a few offices upstairs. So it's taken us a long time to get back to no elevator and the offices we wanted upstairs um, and nothing's changed. So Gene and I met with the uh, builders in Mariana yesterday in the town hall, I mean in the town center. And right now who? Huh? Say what? Is somebody talking to me? No, I think I, I think that was they needed themselves. So anyway, we met them, and you know, I told them I'd be really happy if we had a July Fourth party there. Um, they didn't look they didn't look one hundred percent committed to that, but um, they told us four to six months, depending on how fast they can move, and they're starting on Monday. Oh, good! Yay! 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 No elevator. <laughs> so no elevator. No elevator. That's what took so long. No elevator and more offices. I can't wait. Uh, if you didn't hear her, she basically said that we had an approved blueprint. There was some adjustments that needed to be made. And they met with the um, contractors yesterday in Mariana. And they should start today or tomorrow, she said. I Monday. Remember. Monday. She said they should start Monday and hopefully within four to six months. She's, but we hope we can have a July 4th party there. That's good news. That's great news. Makes me want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So here we are for our final award. And this is our Culture Keeper Award. I just want to say that this, I am so happy to give this award out this month. I recently had a chance to really talk with this person and they really opened my eyes on how much they do that we're unaware of. And, you know, he is one that is out there every single time we have a new agent contacting them, emailing them, asking them how he can help, always giving an extra hand to help any of our agents and, we, and even sings us, sends us singing telegrams at the office. So our Culture Keeper Award this month goes to Kip, Skip Husky. Uh, you guys are going to make me cry. <laughs> so to, I, I wanted to say, give uh, the leadership uh, team to give an opportunity to say something as well. We appreciate you. Yeah, and uh, Skip is a great person. If any of you ever see him in the office and you have any questions, he is one of those people that like will stop what they're doing to help you with your questions. He's helped me a lot, especially when I was a newer agent. Um, so if you ever have any questions, he's a great person to go to as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that Skip always stops by my office to check on me and see how I'm doing and make sure I'm doing okay and tell me a joke. Hey, every, everybody needs a laugh. <laughs> I personally love being one of Skip's angels. Well, we love you, Skip, and congratulations. And I just, I'm really happy that we're in business with you and you are family. Thank you so very much. And I, I'm going to tell you, this has uh, been a great thing for me. Uh, my family out there at the beach, because I live in town, I don't see you guys as much as I could or would want to. But uh, with everything else that's going on, I'm only a phone call away. Thank you. Thank you, Skip. Thank you, Skip. All right, can everyone hear me? I just want to make sure everyone can hear me. Are we good? Am I still pretty quiet? You're real quiet. Okay, I'll start. I'll start to project a little bit. <laughs> All right, everyone. So, uh, just new in command. This is just something that KWRI wanted us to make sure that y'all know. Um, David, you may actually want to touch on this a little bit. This is new in command for your um, commit or commission request. David, did you want to speak anything on this? Are you aware of it? Yeah. So whenever you submit a commission request, um, you the offers and commission tabs are now together. 
And so you can actually, if you submit a commission request, you can actually submit a request to terminate it and resubmit a new one. So that's what this is talking about. You just click on the view commissions um, that's outlined in red there and you can manage it and um, terminate a, co a commission request and resubmit a new one. All right, up next we have Think Like a CEO. This is someone earlier, I think it was Jeannie, saying that she loves podcasts, I love podcasts, and you can listen to Gary Keller's podcast anywhere that you listen to podcasts. So highly recommend it. It's full of lots of good information you do not want to miss out on. Last but not least, we have next month's monthly stakeholders meeting, and it's sponsored by our favorite North Florida title company, um, Shana, you were talking earlier. It's Frank Brown Park. This is going to be one of our first stakeholders back in person. It's going to be lots of fun. You do not want to miss it. It's outside, social distance. We're staying safe, but we want to see your faces there. Other than that, we thank you all for tuning in. Thanks, y'all. We hope you have a great day. Be thank sell you. Our houses. Thank you. I Come on.